Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Stallman. I'm the director of the Seneca Iroquois National Museum. Today we are going to talk about tattoos. Before we begin, I would like to thank the Iroquois Indian Museum in Howe's Cave. They have loaned us their Indian ink, Iroquois and the Art of Tattoos. It's been on display here for a whole year. Uh, I would like to thank them and Colette Lemon, their director personally. Thank you, Yahweh. As an indigenous anthropologist, I'm always excited about tattoos. Tattoos seems to be a media that draws a lot of people to museums, to exhibits, to TV shows, to all areas of life. For me, being able to focus on tattoos allows me to see the larger world of Iroquois art. With our modern eyes, we tend to focus on subject areas. For example, war clubs, tattoos, painting. But in the world of our ancestors, it was the art that mattered and not the medium. When early Europeans came over here to the Americas, they really focused on personal decoration of the native people here. And so as a result, we have tons and tons of records of descriptions of early native people and how they looked. Um, there were many types of uh, expressions. We, ha we see uh, people with facial tattoos, body tattoos, uh, piercings. And so that type of exotica has remained in the record and has captured the imagination of all peoples. So back to Iroquois art. Even though we focus on the tattoos, those tattoos allows us a lens into the past. So for example, what we see on a person's face, maybe a thunderbird on their forehead, is also a signature of who they were. And we can see this signature on their war clubs, on their houses, painted posts, and we see it throughout all of Iroquois. So how did our early ancestors tattoo? Uh, they actually used a wide variety of uh, items. Uh, they would use sharp teeth of animals, fish like gar, sturgeon. Uh, they would use spines from trees, animal bones that have been sharpened, uh, usually like needles and awls. They would use a variety of natural uh, ingredients from the earth. They would use charcoal, plant materials, leaves, anything that could hold color they would use. Modern Haudenosaunee folks are going through a tattoo and body modification revival. Most people are using contemporary technologies to achieve their looks. So they're using battery powered guns, uh, modern dyes, modern inks, and they're incorporating old tattoo ideas and art forms with the modern, which makes it very exciting right now. On August 4th, 2019, we premiered this exhibit here at the museum. We opened the house to a full house on that day, and it's been one of our more popular exhibits here at the museum. Um, we still get lots of emails and phone calls asking if it's still up, and we're actually really happy that it's here for one more year. So even though we have this on loan from the Iroquois Indian Museum, what makes this exhibit a little bit different was before the exhibit came, about six to eight months before the exhibit opened actually, we did a call out to the community for community members to come in and show off their tattoos. So as you look around, you'll see about two dozen folks who volunteered their skin to be on exhibit here at the museum. Locally, this has been a really exciting exhibit because we're starting to see a lot of younger people coming into the museum and having an interest in Iroquois culture. And sometimes it takes something exciting like tattoos to bring the young people back to culture. So if you get a chance and you're in Salamanca, New York, on the Seneca Nation territory, please come in and give us a visit.